This video is brought to you by the 3 Minute Board Game Patrons. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. Kia ora koutou and welcome to Moonrakers in about 3 minutes. Review copy used. It has a solo mode, it's a game for 1-5 to five players, playing time is medium, and it's a moderately complex game. You are the Moonrakers, a group of mercenary space captains who work together to complete contracts. Can you build the best ship and negotiate your way into being the greatest captain of all? The game ends once one player has 10 prestige. You gain prestige by completing missions and objectives. Just keep an eye out for numbers in a diamond. Deck building. You will start with a basic set of cards and add more through the course of the game. Negotiation. The most lucrative missions are almost impossible to do solo. Making deals is the key to beating them. Player turn. Each player starts with two credits and three blue reactor, two yellow thruster, two green shields, two orange damage, and a single gray miscard. Shuffle those together to form a draw pile and take five to your hand. Place your ship on zero prestige and draw three objective cards keeping two. When it is your turn you will be the mission leader and your first task is to pick a mission to do. Each mission has a ton of information on it. At the bottom are the number of icons for each color you need to play to complete the mission. So here that's five shields, four thrusters and two damage. There's also four hazard dice as shown here. More on those later. Completing this mission will give us five prestige and 10 credits, but we simply can't beat it yet. So select a simpler mission. We negotiate with another player and offer to give them the one victory point from the card, while we get the two credits and one bonus card. We each agree to take one hazard die. We roll the hazard die, gaining one hit. We will lose a prestige point if we don't play a shield card by the end of the encounter. And for example here, if we roll two hits and only played one shield, we'd still lose one prestige. Each player defaults to having only one card action to play, so in order to get additional actions, we'll need to play reactor cards. We play a thruster and draw two cards, and then play a second reactor. Our last two actions here are a thruster and a damage. We need to have played three thrust icons and one damage, but a one thrust icon short. Our ally plays their one action to play a crew card that reduces the requirements by one. We take any hazard damage now. Then all players gain the rewards you agreed from the card. We get two credits and our choice of either the top crew card or top equipment card from the deck. Instead of going on a mission, you may stay home, gain a credit, draw two objective cards and keep one, and then discard a mission and redraw. Once your main action is done, you may spend any credits you have on equipment and crew cards, replacing any cards you buy immediately. Equipment cards have a special ability, and in their top right, they come with cards that go straight into your discard pile. Then you and anyone who participated in a mission you ran discards their entire hand and redraws to five. Why would you like this game? Moonrakers takes the fun of a basic Dominion style deck builder and gives it an entire new coat of paint by turning the core gameplay into negotiation. You can make the most amazing ship and crew possible, but if no one wants to deal with you, you're probably doomed. But there's something undeniably special in Moonrakers when you look over your hand, look at the missions and go, I bet I can solo that one. The art in the game is incredibly stylish, even if it is a painter photograph. Trust me though, it looks far better in person. And there's just the right mix of being able to make your own unique ship, pushing your luck to deal with the missions, and fascinating negotiations to make Moonrakers something quite wonderful, especially for groups that love a bit of banter. The uh, best thing about this game is building ships out in different roles. I love being a helper that makes every mission smoother. However, like many negotiation games, this one falls apart if you have that one guy whose playstyle is to nag everyone about every minor detail on every deal forever. If people filibuster, you may need to impose time limits or the game time will bloat dramatically. And the end game can be a little anticlimactic if people stop making deals. This is dramatically improved with the Overload expansion and the open missions there. Both expansions are good, but they also feel a little like cut content, as if the core game is the stripped down version. For the bare bones of deck building, try Dominion. And for a different take on spaceships, try Starship Captains. Moonrakers. With Overload, it's a gold medal game. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.